Stop recording. Okay, I recently just watched this, uh... Oh, shit. I just watched this video, uh, Jocko Red Wolf and Woody, uh, Shatter's Tire. And... You know, I watched the whole thing through, and... He says something, you better, I'm gonna correct him on. I'm gonna... You know, watch this over again and see what he said uh, about the video. Maybe I might crack him on a few things. So, here's my response to Shadow vs. Tire, Sona vs. Sona's episode 0. This was great. <laughs> Give me more backstory on Shadow, bro. Now let's go to Shadow Story. Just give me one minute just to get the paper that I had to write it on. Because I didn't want to, like, you know, waste more uh, notebook papers. Let me skip over this real quick. Because I'm going to do that later in the video. Hey. I do like that intro, though. Hey guys, I am Jack of the Red. Russian Wolf. I like that. For some reason, I think that's cool as shit when he does that. And well, anyways, guys, um, thank you all for coming here for another video. And this is going to be a like episode two of my Sonas vs. Sonas video. And yes, I will be using my persona again sometime. But again, I don't know when that'll be. That might be next episode. You never know. But anyways, guys, I have a really, really interesting fight for you guys here today. And anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoy this video. Like, subscribe, and comment if you all enjoyed this video. And anyways, guys, um, let's like jump right into it. First up, tires. Species. I do. I will say this. I do like that design. That design is like really freaking wicked. I will. I will admit that that design is really cool looking. He 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 he, he, he legit looks like a badass. So Tiger's uh, species here is a winged werewolf. Fucking which, awesome. Whenever you hear werewolf, you always think about those uh, big, nasty, mean, ugly, um, like ones that bite you or what. Okay, no, werewolves ain't ugly, okay. That I will say, werewolves are not ugly. <laughs> They're big, nasty motherfuckers, and I would never want to, never want to cross one. <laughs> However, like, I don't know, it's kind of like a vampire thing, except, you know, the vampire versus uh, werewolves thing. Which, me personally, I think werewolves are cooler. But how. You're damn right, werewolves are cooler. Or whenever you think the werewolf thing, whenever you think werewolves, you always think about the big, strong kind. Like, the bigger than an actual, like, human kind. Like, bigger than human. Like, maybe even stronger than human. Whenever. That's what. That's what comes to mind whenever you hear werewolf. He is a winged werewolf. That is his species. And now let's go up to. Winged werewolf. Like I said, I think that's badass. I think. That's a unique, um, that's very unique for someone to do that. A winged werewolf, I, I never would have thought of that. Props to whoever has that, that, uh, that persona, man. Props to him. Major, 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 major respect. His competitors, which is Shadow. Shadow, certain species. I do like that picture. I do like that picture. Like you got, you got it down, you got it down right. Okay, so Shadow's species here is um, he is a an Alexander Archipelago wolf. I hope. Okay. Okay. Now I noticed you had a little bit of a hard time pronouncing that, and I, I can understand it because that 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 second part might be a little bit hard to um, pronounce, but. I'm going to correct you on that. Shadow Species is an Alexander Archipelago Wolf. I'm going to say I get it, say it one more time. Alexander Archipelago. Archipelago. Shadow Species is an Alexander Archipelago Wolf native to only one part of the world in southeast Alaska. There. Well, I'm saying that right, but how about that? I have not actually heard of that kind of wolf. I thought it was like Shadow kind of gives the name away as the he is actually a black wolf, which is a very very rare wolf. So other words. Ah oh, shit. Let's go back a little bit. He is a black wolf, which is a very like Shadow kind of gives the name away as heard of that kind of wolf. I thought it was. Yeah, the reason why like you never heard of that um 
that species of wolf because it's like very they're they're few in numbers. Like in actuality, like in all reality, their numbers are like really really small. And due to the fact that wolves are really only found in like one part of the world, and that's like near uh, Tungas National Forest in Southeast Alaska. That's where they're seen at. That's why you don't hear too much about him. It's like Shadow kind of gives him the name away as uh, he is actually a black wolf, which is a very, very rare wolf. Jet black. Oh, so in other words, he is a bit smaller. He might be a bit smaller, but anyways. Just remember. Just remember, it's not the size that counts. Just remember that Shadow may be smaller, but what he lacks in size, he packs in power. That's why a lot of the humans are afraid of him. That's why a lot of the humans in, um, in Northridge, that's the town right outside of Paradise. Uh, the, uh, this is the town of Northridge. That's why a lot of the humans will not go into Paradise because they're afraid of Shadow. They will, they will not go into his territory, his Pax territory, because they're, they're scared shitless of him. Like, yes, he is going to be smart because he's not a werewolf. Like uh, this guy Tiger is, but however that could prove to be an advantage on um, Shadow's side because of the low blows and everything. But again, you have to remember a werewolf is strong; they are tough. But however, thing is, whenever you get these kind of wolves, they live out in the wild and they have a lot of fucking energy in them. So, anyways, uh, let's go on to the next. Uh, yeah, and Shadow has a lot of experience in fighting. Shadow has a lot of experience in battling because of all the all the all the uh, battles he's been in, from fighting uh, bears, fighting mountain lions, warding off humans, and fucking fighting vampires. Yeah, that's the one thing I forgot to uh, mention. And um, Shadow's uh, life so far, he's actually fought inside a fucking war. He fought Shadow fought off a um, an uh, army of vampires. With uh, wolves, with other wolves beside him, it was um, the Battle of Paradise. <laughs> so, so, yeah, he has fought demonic entities beside himself before. Thing. So now let's go into the details of um, Tire here. Okay, like he's a huge ass. Like he's huge. I ain't gonna lie, he's huge. So yeah, he, I, I can see that he's huge, and I guarantee he'll probably uh, get a shadow run for his money. I don't know if it's tired of it too much, but judging by the way you're making him sound, he's like, he can actually get a shadow run for his money. Now, Shadow, 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 shadow can be damaged. I'm not saying Shadow's invincible, but he can't be damaged. So, this tired dude looks like he can give Shadow quite a fight. For first for details, we are going to look at height. Height is the first detail. He is 7.5 feet tall. 7 feet and 5 inches tall. Oh, he's And hit. his weight comes in around 1,000 pounds. Damn. And his age is 30 years old. So, listen, whenever you get the weight, it's a, it's a, it seems like he's a brute. He's like a brute kind of thing. And his abilities, he has none. But, like, whenever you look at, like, the weight, here, a thousand pounds, that makes him look like a brute. That's kind of like a brute kind of thing, right there. He's going to be a tank. Okay? Yeah, that's, like I said, I think that's where, um, it'll give Shadow at least a good fight. That's one thing Shadow does like. He does like a good fight. And he's fought uh, a lot of um, strong opponents in the past. So I strongly believe he would give Shadow an actual fight. I don't know how it would end. It would probably end in a standoff. But I can see him. I can see it ended in a standoff. Because one thing, Shadow's known not to give up. No matter how much you lay an ass whooping on him, he's never known to give up. He'll try his damnedest to stand back up again. And knowing that the height may actually give him much more gravity. Advantages too, because listen, if you take your hand and overswing it, and like out here in the real world and everything, you are having gravity actually help you into that swing. But if you are going up for a strike, 
gravity is going against you. It is, will not help you. It is going to try to fail you. And all those guys, like, he is 30 years old, so kind of reasonably youngish for a werewolf, I would say. But, you have to, like, remember, he's a winged werewolf. Like, I have not really found a winged werewolf until, like, I found this guy. But anyways, guys, uh, but... Yeah, the flying ability will probably help him, too. Let's move on to Shadow now for his details. Now for Shadow's details. So for Shadow, he weighs 220 pounds, which makes him lighter than a tire ever would be. And his height is 6.8 feet, only 3 inches higher than me, myself, Jacko. Well, off my persona, I should say. But anyways, I'm not trying to conclude my persona in here. This is about their personas, isn't it? In other words, um, his persona is his persona is six feet and eight inches high. Got and that his right. Age is 23, 23 years old. Yes, uh, Shadow is uh, a young wolf. In other words, like let's look at his abilities real quick. His appearance changes. Eye, eyes change color. Fur gets bushier. Claws get sharper. So, listen, Tyre has no abilities, but however, for him being a werewolf and having the oversized weight, which makes us think that he is going to be ridiculously tough and be able to take pain very, very seriously. But however, for Shadow having the light weight and the sharper claws ability... And you're also forgetting, um, yeah, you got the, the claws thing down right. I mean, you got the, his claws thing and um, his appearance change, and you got that right because his, when it happens when, when he changes, his eyes go completely blood red. Like, uh, like in the picture, like you see the eyes, like when his, when he starts to change and he, when he um, shifts into um, his other forms, his eyes go completely red, so there's really nothing there, but all you see is red. And yeah, his claws get sharper, his fangs get sharper, so we're hanging down, sort of like a saber tooth tiger, so you see two big fangs like hanging down out, out of his muzzle. Um, and his bite power drastically increases. I'm talking, he's got enough bite, uh, enough, uh, enough bite force to literally bite through any fucking thing. Anything that he, he like, he bites through. It's going right through it. And he has no power to rip anything apart. So not only does his appearance change, but his size changes too. That's another thing you gotta watch for is his bite. His bite force changes. His bite force changes too. That, that means he might have a higher chance of speed. And also, might be able to... Bites hard and hits twice. Um, bites hard and hits twi uh, twice as hard. The cut through um, hits twice as fast. I should say a lot more easier than Ty would actually ever be able to rip through. Rip through um, <laughs> shadows. Which again, age twenty three is very young compared to uh, Tyre. So, anyways, um, Shadow is two hundred twenty pounds. His height is 6.8 inches, well, 6 feet and 8 inches, and his age is 23, and his abilities are appearance change, eyes change color, fur gets bushier, and his claws get sharper, which makes him, which makes it... And again, remember, that's not all. Remember, he's also got the jaws. Remember that he's also got the jaws, and he's got the strength, and he's got the power easier for him to claw and slice up other means of other things. So anyways, let's move on to maybe like story now. <clears throat> okay, so here is Tyre's story from like what he's told me at least. I don't know if I got it wrong. If I got it wrong, he can like comment it and then I will pin it into the comments so you guys can actually see the story and everything if I did get anything wrong. So in other words, here's the story. Okay, so story. Lives in Scandinavia, parts of the old world, and is a warrior as the Nord symbol rep represents who he is. 
So, in other words, he's kind of like, a, maybe like a Viking, maybe, I don't know. But, like, as a Nord, I would think from that, that would mean he's, he is a real, real tough warrior. And also, before I like, forget something, I, I mean, I mean that Tyre does not have any abilities, but however, he does have strengths, so let me just go over those real quick. His strengths include hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat, in close range, and smart, and he is also strategic as well really fast. So we are dealing with a really, really speedy, speedy, speedy kind of werewolf here. Huh? And then, let's go over his weakness, which is silver. Of course, for being a werewolf, of course that's going to be a weakness. Silver is going to be the weakness. Like, that's like, that's a, that's a given. That's a given. But now, um, I'm going to warn you all guys that Shadow Story is actually kind of a little bit longer. <clears throat> a little bit. It's actually a little, 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 little bit longer. Hint, hint, wink, wink. But anyways, um, so now let's go over to uh, Shadow's uh, story, and I'm going to try to read the best I can. So now let's go to Shadow's story. Just give me one minute just to get the paper that I had to write it on, because I didn't want to, like, you know, waste more uh, notebook paper. So anyways, like, here we go. I'm going to go get my uh, notebook paper. Ah, shit! Shadow, if you're watching this, look what I just did. Oh, man, dude. <laughs> oh, man, I still can't believe you ripped that paper. <laughs> I didn't follow you, man. Shit happens, man. It happens. Ain't no biggie. I don't know if I can still read your story. <laughs> but you know what? I'm still gonna try. I think it's still readable. But I'm not too sure now because of this, you know, just kind of horrid. <laughs> but you know what? We're still gonna try. Okay, so I'm gonna try to, like, read this as best as I can. Again, his story is kind of longer than tires. But well, it is actually longer than tires, so you know what? Let's just try to get this over with, and I'm gonna try to read this to my best ability because my reading abilities is not the best, but my speaking abilities is better. Like whenever I go off script, that's why I usually don't use script, just because I'll just end up fucking it up in the end. But anyways, um, I'm going to try to read this the best I can, and let's just uh, stop stalling, and um, let's just go ahead and get into this. So here's the story. He was born into a paradise pack. His parents' time was cut short as they were gunned down by a hunter. We Got that first part right. Gunned down by hunters. I kind of figured that you weren't going to say uh, the name of his parents, uh, Shadow's parents, because uh, I guess like they'd be hard to pronounce. But yeah, Shadow was born into the Paradise Pack. Um, he lived a couple months with him until um, Akela and Samantha, that was his mother and father's name, were gone down by uh, were gone down by hu uh, humans before Shadow ever fully got a concept of what the world is. Even Shadow all alone and taken into another tribe later and he was granted a power in which yeah that after Shadow uh, was separated from his mother and father after they were he, they, they were taken from him um, he was left all alone like wandering the, 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 the valley I mean to keep in mind check Shadow was a small puppy so basically, he was wandering uh, the, uh, the forest like all by himself until uh, this native tribe like took him in, and they took care of him. And he spent a couple months with that tribe. Like they f they fed him, they took great care of him. They let him go hunting and shit like that, and they let him do his thing until he he told. He got big enough. And then I'm going to jump. Before he left the tribe, one of the elders in the tribe, they, they had like this uh, ritual or some shit like that. Like it was like some sort of ritual. Like they had Shadow like standing in like, the center of the circle and they were all gathered around them. And one of the elders like bestowed like this uh, ability to him. And Shadow was given like this power 
which the humans call him the Black Devil. That's what uh, he's called among the humans. They call him the Black Devil. But that, yeah, that power was given to him, and he's used it to protect his territory and his pack and his family. He was told never use this power for evil, which Shadow has never done. He could use to defend himself after being cared for by the tribe. He left the tribe and reunited with his old friends, Kyoto and uh, Django. I suppose I got their names right. Yeah, Kyoto and Django. Two um, two wolves that he actually met uh, during his childhood. Uh, it's uh, it Kyoto and Chango are part of like two other packs, but they found each other as Shadow was like out playing them one day, and they all uh, found each other, and they became like great friends. They, uh, every day they played together, and as their Shadow left the tribe, they got reunited because apparently uh, Django and Kyoto were looking for him, and they found Shadow like wandering uh, the valley hills, and. Shadow, when they found each other, they basically was like, we'd stick together. Shadow said this to both of them, like, we stick together no matter what. Now that we found each other, we're not going to leave each other. We're Now we're brothers. And that's basically what uh, Shadow, uh, Django, and Kyoto now refer to each other. Like, all three of them are, like, very close to each other, like brothers. And started their own pack together. Then... Shadow finds the love of his life, Sira. Yup. One of the most gorgeous female wolves that Shadow ever fallen in love with. Sierra is his love, is his love and his life. He's always, always protecting her. Every time that Sierra leaves the den, Shadow's always going with her. He's always a step behind her. He never leaves her side. That's how much, that's how dedicated them two are to each other. In which I think the pack they had was like Shadow, like Blood Slayers or something like that. Yes. The Blood Slayer pack. Uh, I don't know. He will comment that probably. I just probably. The Blood Slayer Pack, yes, the Blood Slayer Pack. Missed it. Anyways, um, that's his story. Oh, but everything I read at the end of the video, I've got details more. Just so you can read them. Anyways, guys, that is the YouTube video for today that I'm going to do for my video today. So this was uh, episode two of Sonas vs. Sonas. So if you guys want more of this, I want four, or maybe even three likes, maybe even six if I can get that. Damn, how many times can someone take a nice slash? But however, four and three would do good. I don't want to be too fucking greedy here. So anyways, guys, if you all enjoyed, like, subscribe, and comment. Like, leave a suggestion for me in the comments if you want to. And anyways, guys, uh, thank you all for coming. And, uh... Do svetonja i uvidim se pozje! I like that right there. I guess I forgot to mention the uh... I think I did say something about that, didn't I? When I was giving you information, I could have sworn I mentioned that uh, his... His uh, bite power increases drastically. I would have sworn I, would have sworn I, uh, I mentioned that, but if I didn't, then now I'm mentioning it now. Well, that was very interesting, uh, Jocko the Red Russian Wolf. I appreciate that. You know, I always. Like when somebody, you know, uses my persona and something like that. You know, I'm always appreciative of people who take your time to do something like that. That was a very good video. I appreciate it, man. I had to make this response to get some, th get some few things clear. You know, the stuff that you may say, stuff that you may not have pronounced. I had to, you know... 
had to correct a few things, but you know, no, man, I I liked it. I appreciated it, and your video will get a uh, like. And you know what? Matter of fact, there right now, they're bang right there. Like I said, nothing but respect for the mighty uh, tire. Not nothing but respect for for him. I'm not gonna bash another person's phone. I'm gonna say, oh, they can't be this. Nah, no, I'm not. Nah, it's not like that at all. So, there's my response to Shadow vs. Tire. Sonus vs. Sonus F2. This was great. There's my response to it. I hope you like my response. I did enjoy it. You see, I put the like on it. So, um... Yeah, I mean, I don't know what to say on this video. I... What else can I say? Thoroughly enjoyed it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this video out. To uh, Jacko, I'm going to say this. I'm going to go right to the camera. Now i got to close my ear. i got to end it with my closing. This is Shadow Wolf signing out. I will see you all on the next hunt. Peace.